Hello! Good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For a very long time, ngayon lang ulit tayo nakapag-live. So it's a beautiful Saturday and I'm hoping na maraming maabot ang ating live lesson for tonight. I'm supposed to have, yes, I'm supposed to shoot my video lessons tonight pero medyo maingay kasi maaga pa. So I decided to have this live video. Siguro may maririnig kayong mga... <laughs> motor, tricycle sa labas kasi bagong lipat kami ng husband ko ng bahay so tabing kalsada yung amin pong bahay kaya medyo maingay. Kaya maya maya pa ako mag-shoot ng video lessons. Pero this time magla-live muna ako at merong useful lesson na isi-share ako sa inyo. But before we begin, let's wait for some other live audience tonight bago tayo magtungo sa ating live lesson. So kumusta po ang lahat? Ilagay po ninyo ang inyong mga comments sa ating live chat box. Nandiyan po sa kanan ninyo kung nanonood kayo from your computer, from your laptop. And if you're watching from your mobile devices, nasa baba lang po ang live chat box. So unang-unang bumati ang aking husband. Yan, Yarel Badaguas. Hello, na nandiyan lang katabi ko. Jack Kennedy, hello. Shout out sa'yo. Ryan Javier, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sino pa? Nako, ayan na nga. Hello po, Brother Abdulaziz. At sa lahat po, magandang gabi. Maya-maya lamang uumpisahan na natin ang atin pong pag-aaral. The topic that I'll be discussing tonight on our live will be about phrasal verbs with the word get. So if you're watching the replay of this live video, siguro mag-proceed kayo sa 5 minutes na para mag-start na kayo agad doon sa lesson. So let's wait for some others. May I just request all of you to please share the link of this live lesson para po maraming uh, makarinig ng ating live lesson tonight. I-share ninyo sa Messenger, sa Facebook, or i-share ninyo sa any messaging uh, apps ninyo para po maraming makanood ng live natin tonight. Batiin din natin si Michael Tokmohan. Hello po. Nabil Lau. Hello. Marjorie Mama. Good evening. Rita Parazo. Rita Porazo. Hello, good evening po. Maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Ayan ha. Ilonggo yun ha. Watching from Ilo, Ilo City, Altilapon. Ayan, marami pong salamat. Huli ata akong nakapag-live. Ang tagal na eh. Ilan pa lang ang subscribers natin. Pero this time, nakita naman ninyo, almost 850,000 na yung subscribers natin. Konting-konti na lang malapit na tayo nating ma-reach ang 1 million subscriber milestone. Sana matulungan ninyo ako na mas marami pang maabot ang atin pong channel. Hello din kay Alti Lapon. May nanonood din sa atin from Saudi Arabia. Ang he Angelia Happy. Hello po. Ligaya Gaspar from Hong Kong. Nia. Hello. Yurik. Emil, good evening. So, ayan na nga. Isang minuto na lang. We will start our lesson for tonight. I'll just... Sige. I-flash ko lang yung mga pagbati ng mga viewers natin tonight. Hello, hello. Hello po sa inyong lahat. And I'm hoping na maging kapaki-pakinabang yung lesson natin for tonight. So, I'm going to teach you set of phrasal verbs with the word get. Labing walo po ang phrasal verbs na yon na very useful, siguro naririnig ninyo, nababasa ninyo sila, at makikita at malalaman nyo maya-maya lamang. Ayan, thank you sa ating live audience for tonight. Sana sa mga susunod nating live, mas marami tayong makasama. Ranel, Angelia, ayan, may nanonood sa atin from Saudi, from Germany, si Ranel, from Hong Kong, si Ligaya. Aha, hello po, ma'am. Matagal ko nang sinusubaybayan ang inyong YouTube channel from Lawrence Serrano. Hello po. Wow, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Sana po patuloy kayong sumabaybay sa mga lessons natin dito po sa ating channel. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Huwag na nating uh, patagalin pa. Once again, let me greet all of you, my dear learners. A good evening. Sana ay nasa mabuting kalagayan ng lahat. And the moment you're watching this, if you like this video at kung marami mo kayo matututuhan, I'm requesting all of you to please sh like this video, yes, and also share the link of this video. Share it with your friends and 
kung hindi pa kayo bahagi ng ating YouTube online community of learners, click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated every time I upload new videos. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Sana po malinaw yung aking audio. Pwede ninyong ilagay dyan sa ating comment section. Mababasa ko rin naman sa live chat box kung malinaw po ba. So ayan, sana maliwanag sa paligid ko. Feeling ko kulang pa yung ilaw eh. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's begin. The topic for tonight will be about phrasal verbs with the word get. Get in Filipino is kinuha, get, all right? So we have here 18. I'm going to give the phrasal verb, then the meaning, and then I'm going to give the example sentence, and then it will be your turn. Magbibigyan naman kayo ng example ninyo, ilagay sa ating live chat box or sa comment section. All right, so let's begin. Phrasal verbs with the word get. Why do we need to study phrasal verbs? Bakit mahalagang pag-aralan natin ang phrasal verbs? Mahalaga pong pag-aralan ng phrasal verbs, my dear learners, kasi ito yung mga expressions na karaniwang ginagamit ng native speakers. Though, hindi naman tayo native speakers, but of course, in school, sa trabaho, nagagamit natin siya. Or even in daily communication, depende sa mga taong kasama natin. And minsan, mas natural pakinggan, mas native-like pakinggan kapag gumagamit tayo ng phrasal verbs. These phrasal verbs will also help us to widen our vocabulary, mas mapapalawak yung vocabulary kasi hindi pa ulit-ulit yung mga salita na ginagamit natin kapag nakikipag-usap tayo. Umpisahan na po natin. Ang una nating phrasal verb ay eto, get after. When we say get after, my dear learners, it means to reprimand. When we say to reprimand, parang pinagsabihan. It's a little like pinagalitan. Okay? Get after. Sino yung karaniwang pwedeng sabihan nito? Siyempre, sa mga anak, yung mga magulang, o kaya naman yung teacher sa mga estudyante, yung boss sa mga empleyado. Here is our example sentence. Basahin natin. Molly got after her son. Or kapag pinalitan natin ng meaning, it will be Molly reprimanded her son. Ah, diba? Ibang meaning nga lang. Ibang salita nga lang. Pero pareho ng kahulugan. Molly got after her son because he left the car windows open overnight. Siyempre, anong mangyayari dyan? Nangyari sa amin yan once. Pagbalik namin sa sakyan, puno ng lamok. Kaya mapapagalitan talaga ang anak kapag nagawa yan. So, Molly got after her son or Molly reprimand reprimanded her son. Bakit? Kasi naiwan niya buong magdamag na bukas yung bintana ng sasakyan. That's our first phrasal verb with the word get. Get after, which means to reprimand. Ayan. Sige, let's proceed to the second one. The second phrasal verb is get along with. Ayan, kariniwan itong ginagamit. Get along with. When we say get along with, it means to have a good relationship with another person. O, nangangahulugan lang na may maganda kang relasyon sa isang tao. Pwedeng sa kaibigan mo, sa pamilya mo, sa katrabaho mo, you get along with that person. Maganda yung relasyon ninyo. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Martha's children seem to get along with each other better than most brothers and sisters. Yung mga anak daw ni Martha ay maganda yung samahan nila sa isa't isa, hindi katulad sa ibang mga magkakapatid. Again, the second phrasal verb using the word get is get along with. It means to have a good relationship with another person. So that's our second one. Now let's proceed to the third phrasal verb. We have get around. My dear learners, when we say get around, it means to go to many places, to travel from place to place, o maglibot sa iba't ibang lugar, mamasyal sa iba't ibang lugar. As simple as that, okay? Get around, that's the meaning of it, to go to many places. Bagay itong uh, phrasal verb na to sa mga travelers, they love to get around or to travel from place to place. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Sabihin natin na, even though Sean doesn't have a car, she still gets around easily by public transportation. Again, even though Sean doesn't have a car, she still gets around easily by public transportation. Or sa madaling sabi, 
kahit na walang sariling sasakyan si Sean, yung pinag-uusapan sa pang-uusap, she still gets around easily by public trans- transportation. Madali pa rin siyang nakakapunta sa iba't ibang lugar sa pamagitan lang ng pagkukumute gamit ang mga gamit ang jeep, gamit ang bus, or public transportation. Again, our third phrasal verb with the word get is get around, which means to go to many places or to travel from place to place. That's our third one. Let's proceed to the fourth phrasal verb, which is get at. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng get at, Teacher Aubrey? When we say get at, it means to suggest a meaning or to allude to. Okay, magbibigay ka ng kahulugan, magbibigay ka ng suggestion kung ano yung kahulugan ng isang bagay. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Listen carefully. I don't understand why I don't understand what you are getting at. Can you explain it a little better? Again, I don't understand what you are getting at. Can you explain it a little better? What you are getting at, hindi ko maunawaan yung ibinibigay mong kahulugan o yung ibinibigay yung sinasuggest mo bagay. Pwede bang mas ipaliwanag mo pa ito para maintindihan ko? So that's our fourth phrasal verb. We have get at, which means to suggest a meaning or to allude to. Next, number five is get away with. Siguro ito, Familiar siya sa inyo, naririnig ninyo siya madalas. To get away with. Ibig sabihin, to avoid punishment. Para iwasan yung magiging parusa. To, to avoid punishment. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Ito po yung halimbawa natin. My brother used to get away with everything because he knew how to make everyone else look guilty. Hmm, nako po, delikado. Delikado yung ganyan, sabi. My brother used to get away with. Alam niyo kung paano umiwas dun sa parusa, no? Bakit? Sa paanong paraan? Yung kapatid mong lalaki, paano niya ginagawa yun? Kasi pinagmumukha niyang guilty yung iba. Pinagmumukha niyang may kasalanan yung iba. Sa halip na siya yung mapag- mapagbintangan. Okay? Again, that's our fifth phrasal verb with the word get. Get away with, which means to avoid punishment. Kayo ba, nasubukan nyo na bang mag-get away with? Sige nga, subukan ninyong ilagay yung sentence ninyo using this phrasal verb, get away with. Ilagay sa ating live chat box or sa comment section sa iba ba. Next one, number six is this. Eto, very familiar kayo rito. Madaling madali. Very easy, we have get back. So when we say get back, my dear learners, it means to return. Ibalik, to return, as easy as that. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, when did you get back from your vacation? When did you get back from your vacation? Or kapag ginamit natin yung kahulugan ng get back, when did you return from your vacation? Kailan ka nakabalik mula sa bakasyon mo? That's it. Number six again is get back or to return. Next, number seven is get back at. Get back at. When we say get back at, it means to repay mistreatment. Ayan ha? Again, to repay mistreatment. Ibig sabihin, nagawan ka ng hindi maganda, pagbabaya, kumbaga, paghihigantihan mo. Babalikan mo rin siya ng hindi maganda. Hmm. Hindi magandang bagay yun ha? Pero ito, para lang alam ninyo. So the sentence is, Tina got back at her sister for breaking her new doll. Again, Tina got back at her sister for breaking her new doll. So, anong ginawa ni uh, Tina sa kapatid niya na nakasira nung kanyang bagong manika? Anong ginawa niya? She repay that mistreatment. She got she got back at her sister. Gumanti siya. That's it. All right? Next, number eight, my dear learners, we have get by. Eto, alam na alam dapat to ng mga mag-asawa, ng nanay sa pamilya, no? So, when we say get by, my, my dear learners, it means to manage financially. Okay? Or sa madali, in layman's term, we call it yung pagbabudget. Okay? Hinahati-hati yung kinita, to manage financially. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Young married couples 
usually find that it's difficult to get by. Hmm. Opo, totoo yan. Even when both work. Young married couples usually find that it's difficult to get by. It's difficult to manage financially. That's the meaning of it. Even when both of them are working. So, totoo naman yan ngayon. Lalo ngayon, dahil sa inflation, sa mahal ng bilihin, kahit minsan pareho na kayong may trabaho, ang hirap pa rin i-manage ng kinikita. It's really hard or it's really tough and difficult to get by or to manage financially. That's the meaning of it. Get by to manage financially. Number nine, we have get in. All right? Get in. So that's quite easy. Madalas nating naririnig. When you say get in, it means to enter or to return to one's home or uuwi ka. As simple as that. Papasok ka sa bahay at uuwi ka. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Jack is tired because he got in so late at night. Pagod na si Jack. Bakit? Kasi gabing-gabi, late na siyang nakauwi sa bahay nila. Again, when we say get by or get in, it means to enter or to return to one's home. Umuwi sa bahay. That's our ninth phrasal verb with the word get. Next one is get into. Get into means to become involved or interesting in something. Makisangkot sa isang bagay. Alright? Kaya nga, di ba, kapag sinasabi mong, I'm getting into swimming. I'm getting into uh, arts and in painting. Kapag gusto mong sabihin, saan ka interesado? You may use this phrasal verb, get into. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Jessica really got into reading. Really got into reading. Interesado si Jessica sa pagbabasa. After she read Gone with the Wind. After she read Gone with the Wind. I'll just edit this one. Gone with the Wind is a title of the book. A title. So kailangan nakakapitalize. Ayusin ko lang. So that's it. Ulitin natin. Jessica really got into reading. Or Jessica become really involved or become very interested in reading after she read Gone with the Wind. Matapos yung mabasa yung libro na pinamagatang Gone with the Wind, naging interesado siya sa pagbabasa. Okay? So that's it. Again, get into means to become involved or interested in something. Next, ayan. So, kumusta ba? Marami na ba kayong natututuhan? Kung meron na kayong natutuhan, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yes. Ayan po. Pakithumbs up po nung video natin para naman worth it yung live natin tonight. And of course, pakishare din yung link. Ano po? So, kung nanonood kayo, kung ang pinapanood nyo ay replay na, pwede nga kayong mag-skip na sa first five minutes para mag-move on na agad kayo sa lesson. So, ipagpatuloy na natin. Mamaya, babatiin ko yung ibang mga live audience nating nagko-comment. Let's proceed to our number 11. We have get off. When we say get off, it means to leave a train, a bus, or airplane, or aalis ka na. Aalis ka na doon sa kung nasaan ka mga means of transportation. Pwede sa train, sa bus, or airplane. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Mrs. Gareth gets off at 1st Avenue and 34th Street. Mrs. Gareth left a train or a bus at that location at 1st Avenue and 34th Street. By the way, yung first dyan ay dapat na-capitalize kasi siya ay ayan, address siya. Okay, so that's it. Ulitin ko lang, pakita ko sa inyo example natin. Mrs. Gareth gets off at 1st Avenue and 34th Street. Ibig sabihin uli ng get off to leave a train, a bus, or an airplane. Next one, number, by the way, for the word get off, my dear learners, nakita ninyo, 
11A. Kasi hanggang 11D yan. Meron kasing apat na iba't ibang kahulugan ng get off. So that's the first meaning. To leave a train, a bus, or an airplane. Baka, kaya baka kung minsan magtataka kayo, get off pero ba't ito yung kahulugan? Ganun po sa English, my dear learners. May mga phrasal verbs tayo na, yun siya, yun yung phrasal verb, pero may iba't ibang gamit. May iba't ibang kahulugan depende sa context or sa sentence. So now let's proceed to the second meaning of the phrasal verb get off, which means to stop working. Ayan. So the second meaning of get off is to stop working o hihinto ka na ang magtrabaho. Kumbaga siguro ah, labasan na, titigil ka na kasi out na eh, time na para mag-out. So let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say we get off at 5.30. So, I should be home by 6. Again, we get off at 5.30. So, I should be home by 6. Ibig sabihin, titigil na ako magtrabaho pag sapit ng 5.30. Tapos na yung oras ng trabaho. Kaya dapat mga 6 p.m. nakauwi na ako sa bahay. Again, our second meaning of get off is to stop working. The third meaning of get off is to rationalize or justify a particular behavior. Gusto mong hanapan ng justice or i-justify bakit ganun yung isang bagay. Used most often with the word where or when. Okay? Where or when. Alright, so let's try to use that in a sentence. Ito yung tanong natin. Patanong siya, ano yung example. When do you get off? Telling him that he is dishonest when you lie so much. Kailan ka? When do you get off telling him? Kailan mo pa sinimula na usisain, alamin, ano? Na yung katapatan niya. Kailan mo pa gustong i-justify yung katapatan niya? Pe, na ikaw naman, all this time, ang ginawa mo ay ang pagsisinungaling. Something like that. Again, our uh, third meaning of get off is to rationalize or justify a particular behavior used most often with the word where or when. Nagtatanong ka, nagtataka ka. You're rationalizing. You would like to justify something. Okay? And the last meaning of get off is this. To derive pleasure or excitement from. Kumbaga, Mula din sa isang bagay, when we say get off, na ito yung kahulugan, nakakahanap ka ng kaligayahan, nag -e enjoy ka, na -e excite ka kapag ginagawa yun. Okay? This is the example sentence. Let's read. Everyone in the department thinks that the new boss really gets off. Mm -hmm. Really gets off or really feels pleasure or excitement. On making people feel little, little and stupid. Ulitin ko lang po. Yung lahat dun sa department na tinutukoy, yung lahat dun sa department ng tatrabaho dun, ang iniisip nila na yung bago nilang boss ay parang mas nag -e enjoy siya, natutuwa siya kapag nakikita niya, napaparamdam niya sa mga tao na hindi sila mahusay, na wala silang kuwenta. Ano po? So, when we say get off, the last meaning is to derive pleasure or excitement from. Okay? So, that's the last meaning of get off. Now, let's proceed to the 12 phrasal verb with the word get on or get. We have get on with. Get on with. Okay? When we say get on with, it's as simple as to resume or bumalit. For example, okay, class, we'll be having a recess, a break time saglit. Okay, ayan na, nag-bell na nga. Oras na para bumalik sa classroom. Our classes will now resume. Babalik na uli, magbabalik na to resume. Let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, Mary Deeth decided she had to get on with her life. O kapag ginamit natin yung kahulugan na to resume, Mary Deeth decided she had to resume with her life, even though she was still grieving over the loss of her husband. Diba? Totoo naman yan eh. We, we need to get on with. Kailangan nating 
magpatuloy sa buhay or magbalik sa normal na buhay kahit minsan may mga tao na nawawala sa buhay natin. Bakit? Sabi nga, di ba, life must go on. Tuloy lang ang buhay kahit may problema. We have to get on with the reality na kailangan magpatuloy. Again, the 12th meaning of get or the 12th phrasal verb using get is get on with, which means to resume. Get on with her life. Magpatuloy sa buhay niya. Okay, the 13th one is get out. Get out. Ayan. Ibig sabihin ng get out, alam niyo na yan, to go somewhere for pleasure or not to stay at home. Ibig sabihin, lalabas ka, you're getting out with your friends, with your family, with your barkada, no? Anong gagawin? To go somewhere for pleasure, para mag-enjoy, o hindi ka mananatili sa bahay. Pero yung main reason, para mag-enjoy. Something like that, para mamasyal. The, me, uh, the sentence is this, It's time for married to start getting out more. She's been staying, ah, sorry, it's time for Mary, sorry, that is Mary. I'll just edit the name. <laughs> sorry. It's time for Mary. That's the name. I'm wondering bakit naging Mary. <laughs> Ayan, ulitin natin. It's time for Mary to get to start getting out more. She has been staying home too much. Ayan, taong bahay lang si Mary dapat. Gumala siya, lumabas naman siya at mag-enjoy. She needs to start getting out more. Okay? That's it. Get out or to go somewhere for pleasure or not to stay at home. Next one is get over. Itong get over, it's like, it's almost get on with. Parang get on with din siya. No? Parang to resume. Pero this time, ang meaning niya ay ito. To overcome feelings, malagpasan mo yung nararamdaman mo. Um, usually, we can relate it to negative feelings. To overcome feelings for another, to resolve, or to recover from an illness. Pwedeng tumutukoy siya dun sa damdami na dapat ay malagpasan mo na negative feeling. Pwede rin namang gumaling mula sa sakit or get over from an illness. Ngayon, ito yung halimbawa nating pangungusap. We have, I know... Maria really needs to get over Barry and move on with her life. Siguro nag-break up, nag-break si Barry at si Maria. At si Barry, naka-move on na. Si Maria, talagang nalugmok pa rin siya sa kalungkutan after their breakup. Pero, anong sabi? Alam ko na makaka-get over din siya. Makaka-move on din siya. Malilimutan niya rin yung damdamin niya kay Barry after their breakup. Again, when we say get over, that means to overcome feelings for another, to resolve, or to recover from an illness. So that's it. Next, number 15. Number 15 is this. We have get through. Halos, halos kapareho rin siya ng get over. When we say get through, to overcome difficult times. Ibig sabihin, malagpasan yung mga hindi pang karaniwan, mahihirap na sitwasyon sa buhay. The example sentence is this, It's difficult to imagine how people got through the Great Depression. O kapag ginamit natin yung kahulugan, it will be, It's difficult to imagine how people overcome the Great Depression. Yung Great Depression, tumutukoy yan dun sa dati, sa nakaraang panahon na, di ba? Matindi after the war, Nagkaroon ng tagutom, kagutom, hindi lang sa isang bansa, kundi sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo. Yung nga yung tinataw, tinawag na Great Depression, yung panahon na yun. Okay? So that's the 15th one, get through, which means to overcome difficult times. Next, number 16, malapit na tayo matapos dahil meron lang tayong labing walo, hindi po ba? And then after this, um, mababati ko na lahat ng kasama natin tonight na hindi tayo iniwan sa ating live discussion. Number 16 is... Get through to. Ayan ha. Yung una kanina, get through, which means to overcome difficult times. Pero ito, may nadagdag na isa pang salita, which is to. Naging get through to. When we say get through to, it means to communicate effectively with someone. Okay? To communicate effectively with someone. O maging 
o makipag-usap ka sa maayos, mabisang paraan sa isang tao. This is the example sentence. Basahin natin. It took some work. But Mary finally got through to Jerry. Or when we apply the meaning, Mary finally communicate, communicated effectively to Jerry, okay? That she doesn't feel as deeply for him as he does for her. O kumbaga, naipagtapat niya na, nasabi niya na lahat sa maayos na paraan kay Jerry na wala na siyang nararamdaman para dito, hindi tulad ng nararamdaman ni Jerry para sa kanya. Again, when we say get through to, it means to communicate effectively with someone. Now, let's proceed to the second to the last phrasal verb with the word get. We have get together. Well, very familiar to sa atin. Kapag sinabi natin, uy, ang tagal na natin hindi nagkita. Mag-schedule ka naman ng get-together natin. Well, usually sa mga magkakaklase, dating magkakaibi- magkakaibigan pa rin hanggang ngayon. Pero ang tagal na nila bago huling nagkita. Mula nung huling nagkita. So we use the word get-together which means to join up socially or to link as in a relationship. Ibig sabihin, uh, makita-kita uli, magkentuhan, mag-enjoy ng magkakasama. That's it. Get-together. The meaning of, uh, let's try to use that in a sentence. Let's say, it's hard to believe that Lisa and Anthony finally got together and now they are getting married. O, di ba? Ganyan nangyayari sa mga reunions eh. Kapag ang tagal niya di nakita, pero yung iba single pa, ano nangyayari? Yung iba, doon nila nakikita na, ah, naging sila hanggang sa, naging sila talaga forever. So, ano sabi dyan? It's hard to believe that Lisa and Anthony finally got together, nagkasama uli sila, nagkaroon ng relasyon, and then they are now getting married. Again, the meaning of get together is to join up socially or to link as in a relationship. That's it. And the last one, my dear learners, for tonight's live lesson of, about phrasal verbs with the word get is get up. Ayan. Eto, motivation nyo dapat sa sarili ninyo, no? Araw-araw, well, may mga araw talaga na nakakatamad kumilos, magtrabaho, gumawa ng isang bagay, pero lagi nating isipin na we are created to keep moving. So, we have to get up. When we say get up, it means to rise up from bed in the morning. Yes, to rise up from bed in the morning. That's the very first thing you will do after you pray. Pagkatapos yung dumilat, idilat ang mata, mananalangin kayo sa panibagong buhay, at syempre bumangon kayo para magpatuloy sa araw na yon. It means to rise up from bed in the morning. Bumangon sa higaan sa umaga. Rise up. Okay? Or get up. Next, let's use that in a sentence. Let's say, what time did you get up this morning? Anong oras ka bumangon sa higaan ngayong umagang, or kanina, o ngayong umaga? What time did you get up this morning? That's it. So again, my dear learners, those are our 18 phrasal verbs with the word get. Marami ba kayong natutuhan? <laughs> All right, so if you learned something, if you learned a lot from tonight's video, it's not a video lesson, it's a live lesson, don't forget to like this video. And this time, my challenge, yes, it's your turn. This will be my challenge for you, my dear learners. Gusto ko po na mamili kayo doon sa atin pong uh, phrasal verbs. They are all useful. Yes, very useful yung mga phrasal verbs na yun. Mamili lang kayo ng isa. Gamitin sa pangungusap at ilagay sa ating comments section. Yes, sa comment section yun na iwan para mabasa ng mga manonood ng replay ng video na ito. This time, batiin muna natin yung mga nag-request. Ayan. Si Janina. Hello. Ge- Ayan. Janina Echano. Good evening. Uh, Robert Igdalano, good evening po, and virtual hugs then Tangerine Eco. Okay, yeah, may tanong siya, saan ba, baka napansin ninyo, Teacher Aubrey, bakit, akala ko get, bakit got na yung ibang examples mo? Kasi po, ang past tense po ng get ay got. Yung mga halimbawa nating pangungusap kanina, yung tense nila or yung panahon na ginawa yung kilos na yon sa nakaraan or tapos na, kaya got na po yung ginamit. Okay, tandaan nyo po yan ha. Mari Ludanila, hello po. Yan, si Mabel, Ann Mabel de Jesus. 
Hazel Badaguas. Nako, pagpasensyahan niyo po ako, baka hindi ko mabati yung iba, ha? Bernie, hello po. Lamey. Thank you, Lame. Lame. Lame or Lamey? Ah, uh, well, practice lang. Patuloy mong sundin. Panoorin mo yung mga videos dito sa channel. I hope makatulong sila para mas mag-improve ka. Ayan, may mga examples. Nabil. Emmanuel. <laughs> hello. Thank you, Emmanuel Mendoza. I appreciate your comment. Ayan, kay Mama. Hello po, Mama. Nanonood dyan sa May Kawayan. Aha, Roberto Evangelista from Bacolod din. Marami pong salamat, Mr. Roberto. Hil Quaterno. Hello po. Ayan, welcome, no? First time sa live lesson daw natin si Caroline Lenorio. Magandang gabi po. At syempre, alam po, umaga ngayon sa Las Vegas. Hello, Chaplin Ed. Ayan. Shout out, ayan nga si Mama. Hello, shout out po sa inyo dyan, sa family ko, sa May Kawayan. Okay, Shirley Caporal, San Lorenzo Gimaras. Ang dami nanonood sa ating mga Ilonggo. Ano? Hello po, magandang gabi. Yes, it's been a long time since nakapag-tune in po kayo dito sa channel. Hello, Tess Marinas. Niha, ha talaga ba? Maraming salamat. Salamat po, my pleasure na nakakatulong po sa inyo. Uh, from Batangas. Ayan, hanip buhay. Siguro ano to, mga emojis, no? Kaya ganyan ang lumabas. Si, from Batangas. Ayan, Batangas. Next week, nasa Batangas kami. May a-attendan kami yung event dyan sa Taal, Batangas. Hello po, Miss Lamy Cheryl. Jack Kennedy. At muli po, ayan, Cristela Chu. From Boracay. Ayan, si Honey pa. Nandiyan kami ng February sa Boracay, mag-asawa. Saka kami nag-honeymoon. Okay, at sa lahat po, nako, pasensya na, baka hindi ko mabati yung ibaw kayo magtatampo. Next time on our uh, live, yes, sikapin natin next week makapag-live ulit tayo. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Ayan din, sige na nga, batiin pa rin natin from Pampanga si Mark. Uh, si uh, Rowan at si Kath. Again, marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat, my dear learners. I hope na marami po kayong natutuhan from tonight's live lesson. And actually, I'm going to shoot another video lesson for tonight. So, patuloy po kayong uh, sumubaybay sa ating channel at hangad ko na marami pa kayong matutuhan. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, at ano pa nga po ba? Click the notification bell para marami po kayo. Para every time na may bagong upload ay ma-notify kayo. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell. And also, I'm inviting you to follow me on my Instagram. Yan po yung account ko at Obrey, yung personal ko. At yung page na bago pa lang. Doon ko kasi ilalagay siguro yung mga about learning English at Aubrey Bermudez. Hanapin po ninyo. On my TikTok din. Yan, mag-follow din kayo sa TikTok ko. At Aubrey.Bermudez. At syempre, yung atin pong Facebook page na Learn English with Teacher Aubrey, yung kanya pong username ay at Bermudez Aubrey. Kaka 100,000 followers lang po natin dyan. Ngayon nasa 107,000 na sana ay panoorin nyo rin yung mga shorts, yung mga posts, i-share nyo po sa ating Facebook page. I-like nyo po at i-follow. At mag-subscribe din po sana kayo sa second family, second channel ko together with my family. It is Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV. And ini-invite ko rin po kayo na mag-subscribe sa YouTube channel ng aking little sister of a future English teacher just like me. Uh, she's sharing uh, English lessons as well as some um, study tips on her channel. The name of her channel is there uh, on the screen. I am Miles Bermudez. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. At hayaan po ninyo na ipaalala ko muli sa inyong lahat na ano man ang inyong mga edad. Estado sa buhay o narating sa buhay, wala pong imposible basta lagi lamang. At uh, basta mayroong kayong pangarap, wala pong imposible. Basta lagi lamang kong pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. And again, good night everyone. God bless you all. See you on my next live video lesson. Bye!